everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe. And you know the guy who knows way too much about screenwriting software. Hey, today I want to talk to you a little bit more about Script Studio and give you, uh, get you up and running on this uh, particular software in about five to 10 minutes. Now, the reason why I want to show you this particular software again is I think it's a good answer to Final Draft. And also for people who like to really plan out stuff, I think you're going to really enjoy this software. Well, the first thing we are, when we first open up the program, we get this particular prompt here. We're going to hit Screenplay. And we're going to hit OK. And you can just, if you wanted to click something different, you can click anything else you want. We're just going to click Screenplay. We're going to hit OK. Now, the interesting thing about uh, Script Studio is that the windows are a little different than what you've seen in your traditional uh, screenwriting software. And so it can be a little intimidating at first. And so as you're looking at this, you're probably going like, ah, what do I do? Um, this looks so different. You know, how do I begin my script and stuff like that? Well, let me walk you through it. It's actually fairly easy to walk uh, to walk you through this stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is just have you look at the bar up here. And just to know, um, you, you're in script mode. If you want to start writing a novel, you can easily move to the novel mode. These two buttons up here are basically day and night mode. So you can just click on them. And if you really want custom, if you want some different customs, that's uh, a custom theme, you can do that as well too. Uh, you can double click here to edit the project info. If we take a look at that, you can see what the project title is, the author is, the creation date, any copyright you have, genre, theme, log line. So the nice thing about Script Studio, especially if you like planning everything out, you're going to love this software. So let's um, just take a look. And so again, as you look at this, if you just want to start typing, what I'm going to have you do is in this menu onto the side here, you're in the outline section. So what you can do is just type in script and let's say, but you don't get the whole view. Nice thing to do is just go over to the side here. You get this little arrow and you just click and move this out of the way. And now you have your traditional type of way that you're going to write your screenplay. Um, so basically, again, everything is fill in. At, so basically, again, it's got those quick menus that will get you from point A to point, D, point B. You can see here when you tab, you get an action line. Return, you get an action line. Um, and so let's just type a little bit here and just give you a little idea of how uh, this particular thing works. Okay, as you can see, it's really easy to get to here. Now, there we go. We can type in um, if we want to do a parenthetical and stuff like that. Um, we can do that. Now, the interesting thing here is when I just do a parentheses, it doesn't autocomplete for me. And you can see that I can do a voiceover. I can do uh, continued. And it also allows me to do a, do a dialogue in this part. So let's just get rid of that. So you can see it's really easy to use. It's very similar to what you use if you're used to Final Draft. It just acts just like most... Uh, screenwriting software. So you can go through here and just go through and create everything you need. Uh, one of the things, if you want to go to the title page, is really easy. You don't have to guess where it's at. You just go to here, click title page. You can change all the information here. It's really easy to get at. You simply go here. All I did was just click on the line. Project. You can even I am not doing good with my writing tonight. <laughs> so there you go with that. So if I want to go save this particular file, I'll just go up to File and do Save As. And then I can change the project name uh, to whatever I want. So I'm just going to do Test 1. And we're just going to save that. And we can go up here and double click this as well too and tell this what we're going to, we're going to save it as. Um, All right, so we can type in there. I'm going to again type my name for the author and all this other stuff as well too. So, and again, you can just see it's um, up here. I can take a look at your first draft of sign. Oh, let's go back. <laughs> I'm doing, like I said, I'm doing really good with my spelling tonight. There we go. All right, so, um, so like I said, it's really easy to get back. And then I just hit script, and I'm back in my script, and I can start writing all I want. If I want to export this, I can go down to, I go back to file. I hit export, and then I can export this file in a number of different ways. Now, here's the other neat thing as well, too. I can export a number of different things. So this is the first line is outline, so I can do outline in this form. I can do my script in Adobe PDF, which is basically the standard for all screenplays. Here's a neat thing, too. You can export it as a final draft, FDX. Um, you can export script to a scheduling production format. Um, or even to fountain. So there's a bunch of different file formats that you can use in order to uh, 
export your script. So it's really easy to do. Now, one of the things I really love about Script Studio is here's some of the other features that I think are really neat to look at. Um, the first is notes. So I can type, start typing notes as you, if I want to sort of figure out, you know, how I want things to look or if I want to put down different ideas about different characters and stuff like that or different scenes, I can write it here as notes. Now, here's where Script Studio shines. Now, as you're thinking of beginning to... Uh, as you're thinking about your characters and stuff like this, this is the cool thing right here. If we can, we can look at the story arc, and so we can take a look and, and we can talk about what our character does and stuff like that. You, it's really nice. It asks these different questions. So, what does your character want or need in the step? What does your character get or learn in the step? So, it, what it, what's really helpful is you can do this per scene if you want to do that. Uh, the next thing you can do is um, now if you want to actually create the character, this is where it gets pretty easy. You just go here down to add and you type in new character and then it piles up this and then I can look in the I can do this and say hey I'm going to talk about Gary um, so in the script name his name will be Gary and then I can fill out all this different information so this is the one nice thing and then I can also add a picture here if I want uh, it's really easy to do for that so I can go to Midjourney or some other type of app um, or just pull it off the internet and put in my character uh, design right there now, as you go through here, you can take a look at all these different things about the character. So you can really flesh out your characters, which is something I think is really helpful. Um, and then when you're done, simply X out, and then you can have Gary's storyline. Um, so yeah, so basically this is one, and I'll go through the other stuff here in a little while as well too. But um, again, you can take a look at story tasks. You can, again, you can type in whatever you want uh, about that. You can look at the scratch pad. Um, you can add a note to the scratch pad. Again, you have your notes up here as well too. And again, you have your title page as well too. But this just will get you going. And so, uh, real, like I said, real easy to use. Um, it's a little different when you first load it up, but I would definitely give it a try. Give it a test run, especially if you like to take your time and sort of lay out your story. I'll go through and make some more videos to show you how to go through, uh, how to do uh, outlining, how to do notes a little bit more. I'll go I'll make specific uh, videos on those particular things. Well, until the next video, live well and write well.